Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Legato Romagnolo. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Legato Romagnolo. The Legato Romagnolo is an ancient Italian breed that was originally used as a hunting dog and water retriever. The origin of this breed lie in the Romagna area of Italy referred to in the second half of their name. The first part of their name, Legato, means duck dog, in the dialect of the local area. Dogs of this breed were originally bred as hunting companions to help retrieve waterfowl in the marshlands of Romagna. However, towards the late 1800s, much of the marshlands in the region were drained, and these dogs may have been left without a job if it weren't for the fact that their super noses made them excellent truffle hunters. They are the only breed in modern times that is specifically bred for the job of truffle hunting. Their size, agility, eagerness to please and water-resistant coat meant they were perfectly suited to this task. First, let's have a look at the pros. The dog is hypoallergenic which means it is suitable for allergic patient. They make wonderful family dog because of their sweet and friendly temperament. This breed makes for a great watchdog. They are low droolers and shedders. The dog has a surprisingly sharp sense of smell, is attentive to the owner, smart, gentle and disciplined. They are natural water lovers, so if you are planning any water-related activity, this breed will be more than happy to join you. Overall, the Legato is a playful, energetic, and intelligent breed that is highly trainable. Sociable and friendly with everyone. Friendly attitude towards other animals. If you're a family with older children, who live an active, outdoor life, this breed will suit you down to the ground. It's now time to look at the cons. They need a decent-sized fenced yard and frequent sessions of vigorous physical activity plus challenging mental stimulation. Moderate to high grooming requirement which will include clipping and trimming roughly every two months. Not the best breed for gardeners, as the Legato loves to dig, especially in damp soil. Some individuals are hypersensitive, even fearful, of strangers or unfamiliar sights, sounds, or situations. They are not suitable for lazy owners who follow sedentary lifestyle. The dog lacks aggression and fierceness to be effective guard dogs. Not a mindless yapper, but does like to vocalize. Also the curly, woolly coat attracts dirt, leaves, pollen, and other debris, which can end up on your floor and furniture. Interesting facts. There are numerous paintings from the Renaissance era that depict the Legato Romagnolo. Pittore Lombardo, Guercino, and Andrea Mantegna are three artists who have depicted the Legato in their work. However, some think that the dog in Andrea Mantegna's The Meeting is actually a Spinoni Italiano. The world's largest white truffle, weighing 4.16 pounds, was discovered in Italy by a Legato in 2014. The prized fungi sold for $61,250 during an auction. Australian comedian Hannah Gadsby named her Netflix project, Douglas, after her own Legato. Appearance. Their undercoat is soft and dense which keeps them warm. Top coat is curly, woolly which helps the dog to shed water easily. The male Legato stands at between 17 to 19 inches high, with the female slightly smaller at 16 to 18 inches. Males weigh in at 28.5 to 35 pounds and females 24 to 31 pounds. They come in a wide range of colors, brown, brown roan, off-white, orange, white and brown, and white and orange. In terms of markings, a brown mask is acceptable. Some dogs may also have tan markings. Usually, a healthy Legato dog has a life expectancy of about 15 to 17 years. Grooming. Their coat needs clipping on a regular basis, to prevent matting. Once this is done though, they only need the occasional brush between clips. Some dogs' hair will mat more easily than others, so it's a good idea to keep an eye on this when you give them a brush. They also don't shed that much, as any hair that falls out tends to get caught in their curls. Wash your Legato's ear weekly with a gentle, dog-friendly cleanser to prevent dirt buildup that can cause infections. Brush your Legato's teeth several days a week, and trim their nails every month or so to prevent painful cracking. 
Shedding. Legottos have double coats that are water resistant and are made up of hair, rather than fur. This means that their hair grows more slowly, doesn't shed as much. Cost. The price of Legotto typically ranges from $4,994 to $5,819 and the average price is $5,210. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. A Legotti will require 1 to 2 hours of vigorous activity each day. This breed is active, and will definitely need regular, daily walks. Mental stimulation is almost as important as physical activity for this breed. Agility classes, dock diving, search for truffles, and scent work are all ways to keep your dog's body and mind active. Socialization at an early age will help your puppy grow up to be both confident and well-behaved in a variety of situations. This breed will require a lot of mental stimulation. Advanced training can help tremendously. Consider singing them up for obedience, agility, conformation, tracking, or some other type of dog sport. It is independent. However, you can get good results with persistence, patience, and kindness. Legotti enjoys digging, especially in damp soil, and will require patience and training to stop them from digging. Make sure to keep training sessions just the right balance of challenging and fun. Legotto enjoy mental challenges, but should not be faced with tasks so difficult that they become frustrated. They do best with reward-based training and may choose to avoid or ignore you if you resort to correction-based training. Swimming. Legotti are known as water dogs and are usually exceptional and eager swimmers. Every dog has unique likes and dislikes, however, so if you have the rare Legotto, who doesn't enjoy the water, don't force the issue. Barking. They do bark but they are known as a quiet breed and will bark to alert the house to visitors. But if a quiet dog is at the top of your list, the Legotto is a good choice, especially when you give them plenty of activity and attention. Friendliness. Legotti will welcome kids with wagging tails if they're raised with them puppyhood. They tend to prefer children they know well and are not usually aggressive with strangers. If Legotti is accustomed to being in the company of cats and dogs from an early age, they can be patient and get along their furry family members. When it comes to smaller pets such as hamsters and guinea pigs, it may not be advisable to keep them together with your legato. But with enough socialization from a young age, the dog can peacefully leave with cats. They can be somewhat aloof around strangers, so it's important to teach them that strangers are trustworthy from a young age. Adaptability. This breed can do well in apartments with an active family and adequate exercise. Where you live doesn't matter, as long as you can walk the dog and keep it active, at least three to four times a day. Guard, watchdog. Legotto is not only an excellent family pet but also a great watchdog. They will be protective of their territory. However, they tend to ward off intruders with barks instead of aggression. They will alert you to animals or people on your property. However, this breed will not generally attack, they are not guard dogs. With time, they can even learn to trust people they often see, offering them a warm welcome into your home. Health issues, these dogs can be prone to hip dysplasia, a genetic condition which can lead to the degeneration of the hip joint. This breed can also suffer from a number of eye diseases, including juvenile cataracts and dystichiasis. Benign familial juvenile epilepsy, BFJE, can affect this breed. Seizures usually begin at around the age of 5 to 9 weeks, and these often these seizures stop around 13 weeks. Lysosomal storage disease is a neurodegenerative disease with severe symptoms. Affected dogs will show signs of clumsiness, abnormal eye movements, cerebellar ataxia, and behavioral changes. Have you had any experience with Legato Romagnolo? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.